In this Python Primers video we're going to create a script that allows us to archive older files into a zip file and keeps the newer files untouched. Specifically we're going to archive any files that were created more than a week ago and we're going to use VS Code and Python to do this work. So I have a template structure here in VS Code with some comments. We're going to work through this one step at a time to show these Python constructs. First of all, we're going to get a date time object for exactly one week before the current date. Now you can get the current date in Python using datetime.now. So let's say a variable called last week and it's going to be equal to datetime.now and we've imported both datetime and time delta from the datetime module. We'll subtract a time delta with days equals seven and you can change that to anything you like but um, in my case I'm going to go for one week prior so that will give us a datetime object that represents exactly one week ago and if we print that out we should see that it's equal to one week exactly previous to the current date. So python archive files.py and it gives us the date exactly one week ago. So what we want to do now is we want to convert this date time object to a timestamp. So I'm going to set a variable called timestamp. It's going to be equal to the date time dot timestamp function and we'll pass our date time object for last week in here. And if we print that out, we should now see a timestamp, which is basically a number that's printed out to the terminal here that represents, I think it's the number of seconds since 1970, since January the 1st, 1970. So with that, we have our timestamp representing one week ago. We now want to get a list of all the files in the current directory. So we're going to use a list comprehension here. I'm going to say f for f in os.lister, if os.path.isfile, and we pass f to the isfile function here. So basically this will exclude anything that isn't a file. If you want more detail on this line of code, check out the first Python Primer video where we go into this in more detail. But that gives us a list of all the files in the directory. We can now iterate over these files for file and files. And we can use the os.stat function to get the time that the file was created. So os.stat file, that will give us um, some statistics on the file. And one of them is one called st underscore c time, which gives us the created time for the file. You can also get the modified time, the time that the file was last modified. You can also get the last time the file was accessed as well. With that created, we could print these out to see when the files were created. So if I run this now, we get a bunch of timestamps representing when each of these files was created. The next step, we're going to create a list and we're going to add any files to that list that were created more than a week ago. So that's represented here. Under this line here, we're going to set an empty list called old. And again, we will copy this code here for file and files. This is the for loop. And we're going to add any files that are older than a week to this uh, empty list that we set up on line 20. If the created time that we've got in line 22, if that's less than the timestamp that represents one week ago, in other words, if the file was created more than a week ago, we will append to the old list the name of that file. So once we've got that, we can print out the list old here and it gives us a list of all the files that were created more than a week ago. And you can see that list down here with a bunch of text files, a pickle file, um, a database file, and so on. So that's all the files that were created more than a week ago. What we can now do is we can actually add those files to a zip archive, and we'll do that down here. So we're gonna import from the zip file module, we're gonna import the zip file object. And we can open a zip file object using a context manager. So with zip file, and we'll call it old.zip and we'll open that in write mode and we'll call it zip file and now we can loop over our list of old files and we can add them to the zip file so for file in old we will say zip file dot write that file so that should write all of the old files that we've got that are greater than one week old into our zip archive. Finally, if we run this, we should now see a zip file has been created in the current directory and you see that here it's called old zip and we see that all of these files that are older than a week are actually in the zip file. So that's all we need to do to write a script that takes a directory, the current directory, and looks at all of the files when they were created and if they were more than a week old it will add them to a zip file called old.zip. Now as a bonus we can also uh, convert the for loop that we've got here into a single line generator statement or even a list comprehension. So we're going to do that to close off this video. Let's copy the original code down here as a reference. 
and I'm going to comment that out. We're going to set up a, a generator called old and a generator expression is you use the brackets to do that and what we do is it's very similar to a list comprehension it's just we don't use square brackets we use normal parentheses. So we're looping over the files so I'm going to say f for f in files and for each file we want to check the created time so I'm going to copy this and we'll use an if statement. So if os.statfile.stc time if that's less than the timestamp that represents one week ago, we will consider that and add that to the generator expression. So basically all files that were created more than a week ago, this generator expression will return all of those files and we can simply loop over that instead of this code here. So we've reduced these five lines of code to a single line of code. And if you prefer list comprehensions, you can change that to the square brackets for list comprehension syntax. So I'll keep it as a generator statement and then we can loop over that and it will yield each file one at a time of these old files in our directory. From there, we can just copy the with statement, the context manager, and we can loop over the generator in this case and write the file at each step. And before we run this, let's fix a, an error I've made here os.startfile, this should be f because we've called the variable that we're looping over f within this generator statement. So if I save that code, we can remove the older code here that um, we have above. And finally, we will run this script and we can see the result. So if I look at old, let's actually delete that zip file and we can rerun the script. And that should regenerate it. And if we look inside that file, we see all the zip files, or rather all the files that are older than one week. So that still works, but we've reduced this to four lines of code. And um, so it's a little bit more compact and concise. So you can use a list comprehension instead of a generator statement here if you prefer that. That should also work fine. The benefits to a generator is that you, you kind of yield one item after another. It doesn't bring everything into memory at once. So that may be beneficial if you have lots of files within a directory. So that's all the code for this video. There are some optional extensions if you want to try some new tasks um, after watching this video. Some of these might be, you might accept the directory that you want as a command line argument. Now by default, we're using os.lister, which means the current directory, but you can actually pass um, a path in here, any directory you want, um, and that might work as well if that directory exists on your file system. So you could accept the directory as a, an argument. You could also accept the name of the zip file. We've just called it old.zip, but you can accept that as an argument as well, and then you can give the person running your script the ability to name the zip file. Another thing you might want to do is you might want to implement this code using the time module and using timestamp arithmetic. And finally, you might want to actually delete the older files from the directory. So you move them to a zip file, you might optionally want to delete them from the directory as well. Now be careful if you do this, you don't want to delete anything that is valuable to you. But that's another option as well, and, and there's different ways of doing that in Python. So give those a go if you feel like it, and thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.